guys and welcome to the first part of this week's Coffee and Hero show going through the new graphic novels that have come into the store. Uh, so lots of new stuff in this week, uh, the usual collection of trade paperbacks, um, hardcovers, there's one omnibus in here as well. Uh, we also got some new merch in, we're going to be creating a new section over by the window. <clears throat> the uh, frame prints are going to be just done away with, we're going to put those prints into the folders up at the new release section. And we're going to create a little figure section over there. Uh, I managed to source a lot of the DC Multiverse figures. And they've been priced in store anywhere from 20 to 23 to 25. We're not going to be doing those at a flat 18. So uh, reduced price there. Uh, like, the, like the thing that keeps us nice and competitive with other places. Uh, so yeah, got a new selection of those in. So they'll be going over in the window. Some other new figures on the way as well. But uh, no, in terms of graphic novels, as I say, there's a nice wee selection here of some stuff that's new this week, some stuff that is uh, just top-ups that sell so well. Uh, so just take it through those. So first of all, you've got Godzilla, Monsters and Protectors All Heal the King. So this is an all-ages uh, Godzilla title uh, from Eric Burnham and Dan Shoney. Uh, it was a uh, four-issue mini-series and uh, it has Godzilla's been missing for a year and teen vlogger Cedric desperately wants new content. But the alien invaders and the enemy kaiju may change his mind in this graphic and novel adventure for all ages. So a new one in this week. Again, I always point it out, but you can always tell something that's always suitable for all ages when you see that slightly smaller format as opposed to the full graphic novel size. Next up we have, what's the furthest place from here? This is the Tyler Boss, Matthew Rosenberg, uh, end of the world story, post-apocalyptic story. Uh, this contains issues 10 to 13. So volume one was one to nine, quite an oversized volume, volume two this week. Uh, back in stock is Sword of Azrael. Uh, this was out a couple of months ago, but sold really, really well. Uh, so Dan Waters writing this with uh, Nicola uh, says Meja on uh, art. This was a six issue mini series, but it also contains the one shot that set that up called Dark Knight of the Soul. So new Star Wars this week, which is Star Wars The High Republic Battle for the Force. This is uh, volume two of this one. So The High Republic has had two volumes so far. This is the second volume and part two of that second volume. One that we just cannot keep on the shelves is something that's killing the children. This is the latest volume, volume six. This covers issues 26 to 30. And uh, just keep selling, keep selling, keep selling. We've got a massive something's killing the children section over there uh, in Boom Studios, but just you guys love your, your um, Erica Slaughter killer content, it would appear. Uh, next up we have Sandman volume four. So again, I speak about it all the time, but certain runs we like to try and keep complete runs on the shelves because everybody reads at different speeds. So uh, volume four, there's six volumes in total of the Sandman, uh, the um, oversized books here. So volume four was the only one we needed to put on the shelf and now all six are there. Another very popular one we find is Radiant Black, Not So Secret Origin. This is the first volume for Kyle Higgins. Um, Kyle Higgins and Mike Costa, sorry, Marcello Costa. Uh, so this is one of the six of Radiant Black. It's essentially Kyle Higgins take on the Power Rangers universe without having to deal with any nasty IP or trademarks. Great, great stuff. And uh, the first volume again falls under that uh, image nine pound price point. A new epic collection this week is uh, Daredevil, volume 17, this covers 93 and 94, and you've just got a lot of talent on this, Frank Miller, uh, John Romita Jr., uh, all kinds of really, really good stuff here. This contains Daredevil 312 to 318, the annual Daredevil Black Widow Abattoir, and Daredevil The Man Without Fear 125. A couple of volumes in this week of Bloodborne. Um, the one thing with this to say is that with Bloodborne, it doesn't have volume numbers on the um, on the cover or on the back. But what it does have is, if you look at the third paragraph on both um, on both blurbs on the back, it says collects Bloodborne five to eight, so healing thirst would be first, and then a Song of Crows is nine to twelve. So just in case you've read the first volume and you're wondering what the next one is, as I say, they haven't made it crystal clear, so I uh, just double check that. Next big omnibus in this week, which is Miles Morales Spider-Man by Saladin Ahmed. So this collects a lot of stuff. This is uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man 1 to 42. That's a 2018 run, but then has loads of the tie-in stuff. Absolute Carnage Miles Morales 1 to 3, Miles Morales The End, uh, material from the Miles Morales Spider-Man um, annual, um, the, sorry, the incoming free comic book day stuff. There's even a couple of amazing Spider-Man issues there as well for completion and sake. So Saladin Ahmed, a pretty definitive run on Miles Morales and is about to move on to Daredevil. So uh, if you're a Miles Morales fan, that is pretty comprehensive. 
Uh, next up back in stock is the hardcover for Rorschach. This was the Tom Keen Jorge Fornes Maxi Series, 12 issues. Slots perfectly into the Watchmen universe. Uh, 12 issues in total and perfect bound hardcover there. We have Task Force said What's Eating You. Again, you're probably bored listening to me about it, but again, the best title that not enough people are reading. We had volume ones on the shelves, now we have volume two. So two volumes in total for this, one to 12 issues in total, fantastic stuff. Uh, back in stock, Batman One Bad Day Riddler. Again, this is another one that keeps selling out. Seems to be the most critically well received of all of the uh, One Bad Day stuff. I personally think Mr. Freeze was the best, but this is definitely up there, Tom King and Mitch Dreads. Also in stock again is the Clayface one from Colin Kelly, Jackson Lansing, as well as their Manico on art. Pretty tragic stuff with that. And then also we have Wildcats this week. Hardcover, Matthew Rosenberg, uh, Steven Segovia on art. Again, another great title that not loads of people are reading. Uh, throwback to the 90s and Wildcats in the Jim, uh, Jim Lee era. So this collects uh, Wildcats 1 to 6, but also the Wildstorm uh, 30th anniversary special and stories from Batman Urban Legends 6 as well. Next up is Spy Superb. This was one from Matt Kint, uh, all about uh, the wrong, wrong guy in the wrong place at the wrong time. Someone who thinks that uh, basically a guy who has sort of grand delusion of grandeur about himself, thinks he's more than he is, and then he gets mistaken for a spy, so his ego inflates even further. Uh, but this was a lot of fun. I, I read this myself in single issues. It was only three issues, but each issue was like 60 pages, so that's why it's quite a thick hardcover there. And then we finish off this week with the hardcover for Art Brut. So what this was, this was the first major work from W. Maxwell Prince and Martin Morazzo. They're the guys that created Ice Cream Man. But this was the first project they ever did, and then they essentially had it uh, recolored, redone, uh, updated, released it in single issues, six issues in total, but now they've put it together in a lovely hardcover as well. So out this week as well. So that's the graphic novel, hardcover, uh, omnibus side of things. There may even be a bonus episode this week for what's new into the store as we've um, processed loads of new single issues going into the base. So I might take you through that because there's a lot of good stuff as well. But as ever, hope this proved useful for the what's new in this week. Hope you guys are keeping well out there and I look forward to seeing you in store soon. Take it easy.